What's up guys, JP back at you once again, bringing you guys day number 10 in my 11th annual, actually scratch that, 12th annual 31 Days of Horror, a series in which we watch and review 31 horror films and 31 days all the month, all the leading right up to Halloween. Um, so uh, this, today's review is actually a movie that I'm a pretty big fan of, even though uh, I might not seem like I'd be a big fan, fan of it, I don't know, uh, I haven't really talked about it a lot on my channel or anything. But uh, it is The Legend of Boggy Creek from the year 1972. It is a Bigfoot film. Now, this movie I have like a long history with. I remember hearing about it when I was a kid. A friend of mine's dad had told him about it. And we loved like the idea of Bigfoot and like any type of like myth mythological like creature or like even like the Blair Witch, you know. Um, in fact, like, we even had our own, like, local, um, like, monsters in here, uh, and that shit's cool. I think a lot of, a lot of small towns have sort of, like, the, the local legend and stuff like that. I mean, not only just a monster, we had this witch that lived, you know, <laughs> down the street and, and stuff like that, that, you know, stuff like that. Just local stuff that people pass down and tell each other and stuff like that. Um, but Legend of Boggy Creek, I remember first seeing it, I had it on DVD, uh, from Cheesy Flicks, which was a pretty bad release, if anybody remembers Cheesy Flicks DVD, um, pretty horrible transfer, and I had wanted a Blu-ray for so long of Legend of Boggy Creek, and I just didn't know if we'd ever get one, uh, I'd seen it a few more times, made my top 10 of 1972, uh, it was on the 24-hour Lash Drive-In special on Shutter, the very first one that was, like, 13 movies it was one of the movies that played on there towards like the tail end of that what remember watching that like half asleep but one day it was announced that charles b pierce's daughter who directed this film not his daughter he directed this film his daughter is still alive he's dead she was going to release the legend of boggy creek on blu-ray and originally it was announced as a 4k but uh we ended up just getting a blu-ray but then i think this blu-ray is out of print now and i think there is a 4k on the way but I will tell you this right now. This release is so much better than any other version of this film that has ever existed. Because you couldn't see a damn thing. I saw this movie. Um, I actually saw this transfer at the drive-in before I actually owned the Blu-ray. They, they showed a, the, the Blu-ray transfer at the drive-in that I was going to. And I couldn't believe the damn quality of it. It was insane. But anyway, let's get into the movie. It's not a really complex story. Basically, it's sort of a documentary, but not really. It's like a mo like a faux documentary, like not really a mockumentary because it's not really mocking anything. It's just like a faux documentary, sort of like a found footage film, but in documentary format, kind of. Um, well, I guess most found footage is sort of documentaries too, but it's just it's just presented as like fact, basically, um, and. This, it, 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 it's basically, there's no real main characters. There's a, it's set in a, the small town of um, Falk, uh, Arkansas. And it's a southern town in Arkansas. And they're dealing with the Falk monster, which is essentially like a Bigfoot. But they, I think they even kind of differentiate it in the film where they say that it has less toes than a Bigfoot or a Sasquatch would. But it's a Bigfoot. Um, and it's a big hairy monster and it's, basically interviewing all these people from this town uh, most of them are playing characters but sometimes they're just playing themselves it's like this weird mishmash of like documentary slash like fictional documentary um it's pretty interesting it, it, i don't really care if it's like a documentary or if it's a film i just like the movie uh, there's a lot of um, shots of this swamp of the swamp area and nature and just like this um, there's there's tons of of shots of nature basically like turtles and beavers and you know uh, swampy stuff and you know it it's just very eerie and creepy and it really does feel like this sort of like town that is just you know engulfed in this sort of like um, mystery of this creature that so many people in this town has seen and stuff like that and I I just think it's really cool. And then in between all those nature shots, you have like actual scenes of Bigfoot. 
Um, and it's funny when you're watching this transfer, there's actually like multiple scenes in this movie where I'm like, I didn't know Bigfoot was on the screen in this scene the, the, when I watched it before because the transfer was so bad. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, you couldn't see anything. So you didn't, like, you thought you might see Bigfoot, but sometimes you did, sometimes you didn't. Sometimes you just thought you did. Um, I, you actually see him quite a bit more in this movie than I remember. But the transfer, like, makes this movie, like, so much more watchable. Um, if you've seen this movie and you watch it on one of the old transfers before the Blu-ray and just thought it sucked, like, maybe give it another try with the, the Blu-ray. Um, because it is pretty cool. And uh, the thing that I like about this movie the most is how it plays it straight serious. Like, Bigfoot has be Bigfoot movies are so bad, usually. And there's a lot of them out there that are not good. There's some good ones. But even, like, some of the good ones are come off like very cheesy and um you know not like not serious this one is like a hundred percent like straight faced and it's it's supposed to be scary and i actually think it is uh i remember watching this when i was younger and like just it being like a atmosphere creep creepy movie and it still holds up and i don't know i just it's all it's so charming to me it just feels like a do-it-yourself type movie this film inspired uh, Daniel Merrick uh, for, of the Blair Witch Project and Eduardo Sanchez of the Blair Witch Project. They would not have made the Blair Witch Project if it was not for The Legend of Boggy Creek. Um, their words, not mine. Um, yeah, there wouldn't would have been no Blair Witch without Legend of Boggy Creek. Literally, quote from them on the back here. Um, so yeah, uh, I love this movie. It's not like a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal ph phenomenal movie but it's uh it's pretty it's pretty cool and it's it has charm and uh there's like a scene where there's dudes like taking a crap and and the, the the bigfoot monster comes at the window and stuff and um i don't know just small small vibes like small town vibes and stuff small southern southern style i like that stuff dude um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give The Legend of Boggy Creek a probably, I feel like an 8's a little too high. I think I gave it a 7.5 the last time I watched it. So I'll go with that, 7.5. Uh, but yeah, that is Legend of Boggy Creek. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you with another one. Peace out.